This is too cool. I gotta show you all this. <clears throat> 1953 LeBlanc dual drive. I've pretty much been sitting for 20 years. Finished up the three phase wiring. Got the run to the lathe labeled. 20 amp breaker. Phase converter on. You know, wired through the conduit. I decided to use a piece of, uh, what do they call it, flex, liquid, liquid tight? Flex, flexible conduit so that I could pull the machine out from the wall and not have to undo the wiring. I might have to do a split up there at some point if I take the machine out, but don't really give a shit about that right now. This is the machine. Had those over it to coat to protect it. Tools strewn about. Gear shift lever. Let's take the transmission on the fucking car. It's awesome. Let's we'll start with something small. Let's do 28 RPM. That little floor to lead to tell you what gear you're in. Yeah. This is the shift, or the on-off, well, the on-off switch is down here. You hear that relay, maybe? Then there's a, you know, a big switch here that's operated via this rod. You can see the rod that comes through to actuate that drum switch. This thing is so cool, it has an electronic brake on it. You see that big box over there? That's a, a Warner electric brake. And then this switch right here, that's for the in-tank... Not in tank. The tailstock coolant pump. This machine has flood coolant. And then the breaker in the middle there. You ready for this? It's off. No, that's brake. And then two switches up is on. Oh my god. Neutral. Electronic brake. On. All the way up. Neutral. It coasts to a stop. On again. It breaks. It's an electronic brake. This machine was made in 1953 and has electronic brake. And has oil. Granted, probably not enough. So this thing is dual drive because it has both gear driven speeds and belt driven speeds. So this is, I believe this is the highest gear driven speed, but I need to look that up again. I think that this range and this range are gear and this one's belt. I need to look that up, but you can hear the difference at the machine in the noise level. She's cooking now. That brake is so cool. As for comparison, this is coasting to a stop. So it doesn't take forever, but it's definitely longer. And let's go into a high gear. Ooh, 1800. I don't think this truck is rated for 1800 RPM. I really don't know. I haven't looked up the truck. I haven't cleaned the tag. No fucks given. Whoa. She's fucking cooking. But the electronic brake has stopped so fast. It's so fucking cool. Kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. So that's 783, 782. Oh yeah, there's an on-off lever here. This rod is shared. This handle is loose, as you can see. I can rotate it without moving the rod, but still works. Kicking on. Oop! Didn't get it in gear.
get it that time? No. Fuck. Can't do this with one hand. That took a while, but I got it. It's probably just me not knowing how to shift the thing. It's so cool! Look at that! Oh my god. And, electronic reverse! In case I need to do something fucking backwards! The only catch is that there's no electronic um, brake in the reverse side you have to go back up three clicks to the forward side electronic brake if that makes sense anyway the blonde dual drive 1953 powered by an american rotary phase converter super cool can't wait to film some more <laughs>